three. Uh, okay, guys, I'm back. And this is part two right here, so here we are. Okay. Says.
If he didn't move at a snail's pace, I would have been in this run by now.
Okay, here we are. Listen, the best way to my Uncle Paulie's heart is through his rib cage with a meat cleaver. Failing that, you screw up his distribution and let the Chicago people collect on him. Now, I've been all over town picking up Paulie's drug money from his street peddlers, but I've never been to Dutch Oven Harry's. Uh, <laughs> It would depend on the moose. <laughs> if it was a genetically altered moose with the brain power equal to a human and capable of speech, I'd have to say yes. Okay. And where would I find such horny, naughty mooses? Sweet mooses, anyway. Everybody knows that the Swedes are open minded when it comes to sex. Cross species sex, too, I'm sure. Yeah, those filthy Swedes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, but you're loud and plus copyright music, so no. Dutch Oven Harry's. Jesus, whoa. Okay, what kind of guy is that? Hey, hey, hey. What, what, what say you slip me a couple of bucks, hey? Huh? I gotta take a train. Say, you got any liquor on you? Sorry, pal. I'm dry. Hey, you know Dutch Oven Harry? Oh, you, you wanna get wired up? <laughs> You go by the side door and tell them old Matty Forehand sent you. If they ask, you say, hit me. And then they bring the really good shit. Now, now you make sure not to point any guns in their general direction. I don't want to get caught in a crossfire. <laughs> okay, but sorry, I can't keep my promises. So here we go. Over here, huh? Damn it. I need a directions, pal. Uh oh, okay. Shut up. What's the password? see Dutch Oven Harry. Come on in. Harry ain't around. You want something? Talk to Roach. Don't just stick around. Hey, I'm talking to you. Huh. Harry wants you to do the clean run tonight. What are you fucking crazy? I got a date with that stripper, Camille. From the pink pony? The one with the huge tits? Oh. <laughs> you tell him I ain't doing it. <laughs> yeah. Nice try. Uh, you tell him. I've grown attached to my testicles over the years and I'm planning on keeping them. Alright, fine. I'll do it. Tell him I'm on it. Hey, you know Camille's really a guy, don't you? Yeah. So... Movie yesterday, the one with the chick from Witchblade. Some fucking ninja comes after him, so he pulls out two eagles, and he's like, "Bam, bam, bam!" Yeah, it is. Witchblade's from Top Cow Comics. I've just learned this. Fifty rounds. What do you What do you mean? That's like some kind of Hollywood suspend your disbelief kind of stuff. Who gives a shit? Here's a slow mo bit where he spits on his gravestone, and then he takes off on his huge badass Harley. Greatest moment in the history of film. Forget about it. Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, get a move on it, huh? 
out loud. I got a hot date tonight with a couple of Gino's girls. I got everything. What do you need? I need a Harry. Where is he? You got some nerve, kid. What's up, Harry? Already here. Harry, you want me to bring out the hard liquor? so much
fingers. Okay. Okay, the frame rate was bad for a minute. That scared me.
Ah, peraí. destroy you Okay, I'm taking the train to Fulton Street. Anyone who says the subway is dangerous never sat in the back of a yellow cab going the wrong way at 90 miles an hour through the Midtown Tunnel with a guy who can't speak a lick of English. My buddy, Crazy Uncle. <laughs> Oh 
god! I love the way it's so restless. A combination of garbage, piss, and a burning mortar. Especially in the heat of summer. subway station. Uncle Paul, he brought me down here on vacation one time. Count the trains. Best two days me and him ever spent together. Okay, he's gonna be right there. Sir, I can't let you through here. Standard procedure during a terrorist alert. Check back in a moment, huh? We'll open up as soon as Homeland Security gives us the go-ahead. I'm sorry, sir. I can't let you through here. Standard procedure during a terrorist alert. Check back in a moment, huh? We'll open up as soon as Homeland Security gives us the go-ahead. Yeah, you know how it is. Everyone's on their toes after the explosions. I think that's Jamie the Great. Um. Nope, that's not Jamie the Grape. Jackie, 
Okay, I guess. Jack, come here. Let me tell you something. I've seen this shit happen time and time again ever since that fat fucking Paulie took over the mob. You understand? He's doozy bots. He's out of his fucking mind. Last week, last week he cut off Tony Lucchese's big toe. Why? Because of a fucking baseball game. You believe that? A disagreement over a baseball game. That fat piece of shit thinks he can't be touched, right? Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. He's gonna be touched. Oh boy, is he gonna be touched. I'm telling you, someone goes to grind his lane and make burn all the fucking money he's holding for the Chicago guys. Listen, Jimmy. Now, you know out of respect, I would never do anything like that unless you guys gave the word. If I make a move, will you keep an eye on Jenny? Jackie, like she was my own flesh and blood, I swear to God. Just kick the fuck out of them. You hear me? Kick the fuck out of them. Thanks, Jimmy. Now let's head. Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. We cannot let you in through there. There was an explosion in the orphanage. It's been sealed off. She was tough on us, but she was the only mother we had. And those poor kids. I can't stop thinking about them. I hope they didn't suffer. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this part two here. Now, here we go, guys. This is Tammy's in the Monster signing out. Peace. Oh, Jesus, look at the battery. Peace out.